TV6 is working for you tonight to help protect your money. With flash flooding and heavy rains hitting Indiana and many other parts of the country, you have likely seen a lot of these images lately. Cars submerged in high water. Well, get this, more than half of flood damaged cars will end up back on the market. Tonight, Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny is digging for answers to make sure you don't end up buying a flooded vehicle. Kara. That's right, Melissa. Buying a used car can save you a ton of money, and you probably know to look for things like wet mats, mud in the glove box, and even a musty smell in the car. But police say it's not always that obvious. Who would want a car that's been submerged in water? For auto dealers and even individuals, buying a flooded vehicle from a junkyard, fixing it up, and reselling it can be good money. These people are so good at cleaning these cars up that you would never know. And even some professionals may never know until you start having problems later down the road. Auto dealers have to get salvaged cars inspected by law enforcement before they can get a title, such as rebuilt or flooded. State police visually inspect the cars to see if they're safe to drive on the road. If somebody brings us a car that looks like it was in a flood, but the title doesn't indicate that, we may talk with the owner and let them know that, hey, we believe there's something more to this, but there's not any legal avenues for us to take that says, no, you absolutely can't sell this car because we believe it was in a flood. Bottom line, it's perfectly legal for dealers to sell you a car with a flooded title. Carfax estimates more than 8,000 flood damaged vehicles are on Indiana roads, with more hitting the market every day. Which is why you need to do your research before you buy. Run the vehicle identification number through AutoCheck, Carfax, or similar services. That should show whether the vehicle has a flooded title. State police say flooded vehicles can be good cars if they're fixed properly. The problem becomes is if somebody's taking the shortcuts on those fixes just to keep it running for the short term, and in the long term, you might have some problems that you wouldn't normally have, and the water would be the, the main factor causing those problems. So the moral of the story is before you buy, take the car to a mechanic. Have them look under the hood for things like rust, corrosion, and even watermarks on the engine. And of course, remember the old saying, if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. We're live in Indianapolis. I'm Call 6 Investigates, Kara Kenny.